Hello everybody, welcome back to JP's Aviation. In today's video, I'm going to talk a bit about how I'm 3D printing the terminals for my model airport. Right now you're looking at the beginning of Airside E for Tampa International. This is the first bit that I started to 3D print. I'm going to walk you through kind of how I did it, the 3D printer that I have, and I'll include some time lapses, and then I'll talk about some of the mishaps that I've um, run into along the way. All right, so a bit of a funny shot right here. You can see I have a big tub of paint on the top and then right here on the back side, I have a thing of painter's tape. So I'm doing this terminal in six main sections. The bottom white part, my printer only prints in one color at a time. So there's this bottom white part and then I'm printing the roofs in gray so they should just fit right on like that. So I printed out all three of the buildings and then doing the roofs in gray now, I still have to do the third part right down here. Um, but you can see how this is a bit messed up right here. And then this, when I printed it, I took it right off the hot plate, so it warped a little bit. So I'm gluing the middle section on to um, onto each other, the two middle parts onto each other. So right now I have the glue and I put the two heavy things on it to kind of just set the glue in so it'll dry and be correct. This, since it's kind of on a slope, it's not gonna warp up and it'll stay like this. This part got a bit messed up because the way the printer printed it, it printed it like that with um, this side kind of going up to get the slant on it. So when I put it down, it messed up there. I may end up reprinting this in two parts. And then moving over to this last part right here, this is the only part that doesn't have a roof on it yet. So I'll need to print this. I'm probably gonna print this in two parts so it can lie flat on the printer after I learned from that first part where the lines are kind of all messed up. Now, as for the jet bridges, you can see here that these two right here, the one connected to the breeze plane and the delta plane are themselves connected to the terminal. Now I stopped designing it like that because right here you can, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but there's a little hole. I put um, like rods there so I could put the jet bridge onto it. But when I was putting the jet bridge onto that one, it ended up snapping off. So I stopped doing that. I think I'm gonna do the jet bridges separate and they'll just rest on the terminal so I can move them around as needed. And then a quick side note right here, this is the jet bridge that I designed myself. So you can see it has the little rings in it and then the little square for the airline sign or whatever company is operating the jet bridge. See the one thing that kind of got messed up here, I don't know if you guys can see it, is this where the seam ended up being placed. So that's a bit messed up, but inside the jet bridge, we have that little window right there and then the door for the passengers to come out. And then there's a little square on that side too. And then there's the hole that I designed to um, be put so it could hold to the terminal, but I'm gonna print a separate part. The hole will still be used, but then I can sort of just move it around the terminal where I need it. And then the wheels for the jet bridges so they can stand, I'm gonna print out as a separate part. I think I'm gonna do this gray too, just add a bit of color to the jet bridge, even though uh, most of the little stands with the tires are white. I just wanna mix up the color, so I'll put it gray. And then the last bit of stuff that I wanted to show you guys that I've printed so far are two little pieces of GSC. These print really quick. I think each of these took like four minutes, which is really quick. Each of these terminals probably took an, an hour, two hours to print. So these little things print really quickly. Um, right now I just made the baggage um, conveyor belt thing, which is right there. This got messed up a lot, so I think Next time I print it, I'm gonna print the, I'm gonna slow the print speed down. And then the little fuel truck right here. This came out pretty well. There are a few things that I'm probably gonna change with it. Um, but I really like the way that these came out, even with the mistakes. 
Next, I'm gonna do the baggage carts and then probably some air stairs and maybe a few other things. Um, you guys can give me some suggestions down in the comments on what I need to include because I'm not an airport GSE expert by any means. And then lastly, here's my printer. This is a time lapse of it printing the middle section. This took just over an hour to print. Um, it came out pretty good. I have an Ender 3 uh, V2, I think is the model. It's made by Creality. I've printed a whole bunch of other things too. I'll throw some pictures up now of other things that I've printed. All right, so that's gonna finish today's video, guys. I know it was a quick one. I just wanted to kind of give an update of what's going on with my model airport and kind of show my new 3D printer off that I got. Um, so like I said, that's gonna do it. I'm hoping to have all the terminals done for Tampa by the next update, which will be in, I believe it's two more weeks. Um, I may not have one of them done. It's taking about, I think it's gonna take me about a week to print out each terminal and all the parts, so we'll see. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this update and I'll see you all in the next episode on JP's Aviation. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.